Good day YouTube, this is Reynold from My Personal Finance and today I just quickly want to talk to you guys about a topic that it just happened about a month ago or so that came up to me um, I haven't been on YouTube for a while but uh, <laughs> I was on holiday it was very nice um, I went to Thailand and while I was there I just realized how bad it is if you like me from South Africa and our currency is the South African Rand and the Rand isn't worth much and you realize that when you go overseas in South Africa it's not much of a problem um, we do have inflation that's that causes time to time difficulties but I mean you can still live here you can still buy enough of your rands you can still do sort of everything we don't have hyper inflation we've got like six seven percent inflation that we used to but we used to it so it's fine we don't have 100 percent or something like that but i mean for a mcdonald's burger it's uh we had a stop over at doha and it was twice the price i mean in rands it's twice the price i mean i think if you go to the us or maybe london or some place that you have to spend in us or US dollars or maybe sterling pounds then you're gonna end up paying maybe three times as much or even four times I don't know I haven't been there but this just gave me the realization that I have to start um, diversifying my portfolio and I did this um, or I'm gonna do it gradually by putting my rands into US dollars I chose the US dollars because US dollar because um, South Africa is very dependent on the US dollar. Um, I think as most countries, and I want to start investing in the New York Stock Exchange. So there's actually a company in South Africa that you can buy through them directly into the New York Stock Exchange. I will later uh, tell you guys which company to use. And what I recommend is putting every month a certain amount of rand into dollars because it fluctuates so much that if you buy now you're probably going to buy higher and then you're going to end up selling low or um, the rand cost averaging that's the same as the dollar cost averaging uh, average just try to buy a little bit month for month for month and then it will sort of average your amount that you pay for one dollar to get it maybe closer to 13 rand because currently it's hovering about 13 rand 60 to a dollar 13 rand 60 and I mean I'm three weeks back it was 13 rand so it's 60 cents um, le more that you're gonna pay for each dollar so if you start going to invest I mean five percent three percent one percent that all digs into your margins if you want to start building long-term wealth a percentage now doesn't seem much but with compound interest and the way it works in 10 20 years that one percent that you lose now or the five percent you lose now is going to make a massive difference so guys i really think um except if you come from a strong like currency like you guys coming from the us uh europe um great britain and even like the other countries that are also New Zealand dollar, the Australian dollar, the Canadian dollar, um, they're all very strong. So you guys, it's probably not as much for you to, to maybe not keep it in another currency, but at the, at the tempo hours are degrading. Um, I think it's gonna be wise in the long term just to put like a percentage of your portfolio. And this is also a hedge if you guys like like edges against other risks um, to put it into a currency um, it is the liquidity is good you can always change it back to rands or use it for a holiday or use it to buy something and import it from the US or wherever so it's not a bad idea keeping um, some of your portfolio invest, investment portfolio into cash I mean and then using the cash for certain things um, it's just for diversification and 
if you go on holiday and you can use the US dollars, you're gonna be far better off. I mean, even when I when I went now in Thailand, they they prefer if you pay them in US. I mean, they know they know the strength of the US dollar, um, and they like the euro as well. So, um, you're gonna be better off spending like a more used currency. So I really I really think that if you're young and you want to diversify, maybe it's it's gonna be it's gonna it's definitely gonna help you in the long term but put your money in gradually don't put everything in now because you're gonna buy high and let's try and just see if it if the rand doesn't come down a bit you never know what's gonna happen and then this is gonna this is definitely gonna be a long-term thing so um yeah i really think this is it's it's gonna be helpful for your portfolio and for the edge as well. So thanks God for guys for listening. I hope this helps. Um, yes, and until next time, see you again. Bye.